So in this video, I'm going to share with you guys the top five mistakes to avoid as a beginner Amazon seller. And those are honestly the top five mistakes that I personally made when I first started my Amazon journey. And that cost me pr pretty much most of all the losses that I had as an Amazon seller. Now, those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Bashar Ketu, and I'm the founder of BJK University, uh, an education company with a mission to impact one million lives. So um, when I was first starting out, the very first thing that I, you know, the biggest mistake, I'm gonna leave it to the last because I think that is the, the first mistake I made, but it's also the biggest and it'll cost you the most. So I'll, 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 I'll have that be number five, the last thing that I talk about actually. But the first thing I'll start with, and this was something that, you know, that I understood a little later. Well, I understood like two months in was making sure that the product that you're picking is not seasonal, you know? I still remember I had a, a product called the Molecular Model Kit. And when I was looking at the numbers, it was, I think, around October 2015. So the numbers were good because people were going into school or were just in school or whatnot. And numbers were great. It, it's this uh, Bonds and Atoms little kit thing that does very well during school, but then it dies down after school because people buy it to use it in college and their you know, science classes or whatever. And so I ordered, I think it was like 200 or 300 units. And as the product was being shipped to Amazon, I looked at the numbers and I see sellers went from making six, $7,000 a month to like $1,000 a month. I was like, what's going on? I launched the product, nothing, crickets, right? And that was because I had picked a product that was seasonal and I simply did not know. But now I learned it cost me about maybe $2,000 or so. I ended up selling the product, but I ended up sitting on 200 units um, for like four months until the market picked up again. So I couldn't really reinvest those products or that money to keep growing my business. So that was the very first mistake. The second mistake is making sure that the product that you're selecting is not competitive, especially as a brand new seller. It's really important for you to select something that's like a vanilla product, right? So like barrier to entry should be kind of low. You know, for me, the criteria that I teach our students is make sure that top 10, whatever keyword that you're gonna search on Amazon, make sure that the top 10 uh, sellers, at least four of them, or not more than four of them, have more than 300 reviews uh, in total, right? If they do and you've got a product, what happens, the, the biggest mistake that I've seen is people find products that are making tens of thousands of dollars every single month, but then they don't look at the reviews. And the reviews are like hundreds, thousands of reviews. And it's like, dude, how are you gonna compete? Like, just think about it. If you go to Amazon as a seller, I mean as a buyer, and then you search a keyword, and then you find two products, identical, same price, everything, same promise, everything. But one of them has a thousand reviews, one of them has like five reviews. Which one are you gonna buy? You're probably gonna buy the one with a thousand reviews because in your mind it's like, well, this is more tested, more people have bought it, more people like it. This one, five reviews, I don't know, maybe they're bought, right? So it's really important to get into a product that has low barrier to entry, low co competition. So that's the second thing. The third thing is make sure they have enough money to fulfill these orders. Again, oftentimes I see people finding products that are making tens of thousands of dollars, but understand it's not just the product cost that you're gonna, you know, you need to incur. Product shipping, you know, you need to ship the product. Also, you need to make sure that you launch the product, you have enough money for a PPC. All this stuff is really important for you to have enough money to launch the product. You also want to make sure that you get professional photos, professional listing, you know, um, do all these things. You know, this is not something that you're going to do with $500 or $1,000. You need at least five, six, seven thousand dollars $7,000 to make this happen. And if you've got $2,000, that's great. I started with retail arbitrage. I've got other videos in this channel that I talk about it. But if you want to start private label, you want to have at least five, six grand to start. So that way you could actually launch successfully. You can scale successfully and you can actually become successful. The fourth thing is differentiation and standing up from the competition and simply being a one-off. When you've got two products that are very identical, customers are comparing apples to apples and then they're gonna look at reviews, they're gonna look at your price, they're gonna look at all the stuff, right? The quality of your photos, all that stuff. But if you are giving customers a, a not exact apples to apples comparison, it's a apples to oranges, you can charge more, you can do more, you can get more sales. So it's really important for you not just spend time finding a product that, you know, having the money, having the, the, the you know, it's not seasonal, it's not competitive, find a good product, but also make sure that what you're finding is, is, is 
a, again, unique, right? And a few ways for you to like find a unique way to, or make uh, your product a, a unique is looking at your competitors' negative reviews and then seeing what they're talking about negatively and then make those adjustments in your product. Also going to different marketplaces. So let's say you're gonna sell on Amazon USA. Well, go to Amazon Italy, go to Amazon Germany, go to Amazon UK, type the same product name, you're probably gonna find product differentiations or product variations there that, are, that don't exist in the USA and simply copy those and bring them to the USA. And the fifth and most important one, and honestly, right now, I simply just don't do anything unless I do this one thing first. Right now, when I first start anything, regardless what it is, I start with number five first before I do anything else. And that's not just with Amazon, that's with anything in life. And that is finding someone that's gonna show me the step-by-step -step process, but also having them there because it's one thing to have a step-by-step -step process, but it's another thing to be able to ask questions, be able to refer back and say, hey man, look over my shoulder, am I doing this correctly? You know, Because when you're first starting out, I don't care even if you have a step-by-step -step formula, you're gonna have questions. You're gonna come up through things where, like the biggest frustration that I always had was when I was taking courses, when I was first starting out, the coach would show how to do something one way and then you go to do it yourself and it looks completely different. And it's like, holy shit, why does it look different? Like update the goddamn course, you know? Or if I wanna go back and ask a question, the mentor is not available for me to ask questions. And that was so frustrating for me, right? And I don't want you guys to be in that situation. So make sure that you find someone that's gonna walk you through the process, be there for you, handhold you, be able to go back and ask questions when you have them, and simply make sure that you are doing the right thing and, and have them kind of look over your shoulder and make sure you're doing the right thing. Outside of that, these are my top five things, uh, five mistakes that I personally made when I first started. And again, the last one was really the biggest one for me. And you know, as a beginner seller, if you at least avoid these five mistakes, you will be better than 99% of beginner Amazon sellers. Now, if you guys want us to walk you through and be that five, you know, fifth thing and most important thing for you so that we make sure that you avoid the other four, below this video, there's a short, uh, there's a link to a short uh, 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 survey. Um, when you fill it out, if you qualify, you get to jump on a call with one of our enrollment advisors. They'll spend 30, 45 minutes with you, kind of walking you through, you know, explaining to you how we can help you, understanding your situation, and then seeing if you are a good fit to work with BJK University, but most importantly, BJK University is a good fit to help you. Outside of that, hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care.